charge! Stab you in the sp come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, please. Give it, give it, give it, give me the kill, give me the kill, give me the kill, give me the kill, get it! Yes! Yes! I wanted it! I wanted it so bad. Greetings, human beings of the internet. My name is Joe, and welcome back to another first impressions type video. Usually, these videos are my first three hours in a game. This time, it's my first nine hours in a game. All the footage in this video is going to be from my first three hours inside Battlefield, but between that footage and this part of the video where I talk over it, I played another five hours of multiplayer. So I have officially played one hour of campaign and eight hours of multiplayer. That's not kind of what I intended to happen, but I'm just going to go with it. So let's talk about the section of the campaign I have played. I will start off by saying I'm playing on PC and it looks very, very nice. It's a really, really pretty game. Okay, this looks beautiful. Uh, I didn't play the beta, by the way. This is my first look at Battlefield 1 and fucking hell does it look delicious. I will say the game does start off pretty depressing. The first level is like a prologue and it's very bleak. It's very muddy and every time you die in this level, which you do because there's a lot of enemy soldiers, it shows the name and the age of the person you were just controlling. Oh god. Oh god, what is that? I think I died. Oh. He was 18. Christ. And that was actually a real person who died in World War One. So this game doesn't make you feel very good straight out of the bat. Whoa, 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 get bombs. No, please. No, don't want to die again. <laughs> God, no. <laughs> no. World War One was obviously a tragic, tragic thing. It was a disgusting war. A lot of people died. And DICE obviously really, really wants to push forward how terrible World War One was. I don't think it's going to be for everyone because not everyone wants to feel miserable while playing video games, but that's what World War One was like. I always kind of like to try the Call of Duty campaigns because they feel quite mindless. I sit back for six hours and I just shoot at things. But Battlefield 1 doesn't really feel like that. Straight away, it kind of starts tying the people you're shooting to real human beings and you kind of start to feel guilty about shooting people. There's also kind of a lot of detail in the way the characters in the game uh, act. I saw quite a few soldiers kind of just walking around the battlefield, very shell-shocked, just looking at their feet, not doing anything. It's dark. It really is kind of dark. This is just impending doom, boys. What the hell? Oh, God, I'm dead again by a spade. Oh, no, no, I'm very, very, very dead. Very dead. That was the most depressing level I've ever played in a video game. After the prologue, I went into the first war story, which is based on a bunch of Brits in France. I think you can choose from any five of the stories. The campaign works by having five individual stories, different characters, different places during the war. And I think you can play them in any order because they're all self-contained. But the only one I tried was the one of France with the British people in the tank. I was really surprised by how well the tank controlled. It was really fun. Yeah, the Union Jack boys. Feels good, man. They have somehow made a tank level actually kind of fun. I'm not sure. Oh, fuck. What is that? What is that? I don't like that. I think I played two sections. One was a tank level and the second was like a jungle stealth level. The tank level was really, really fun. I don't usually like any sort of mechanical combat. I don't like mechs. I don't like tanks. I don't usually like plane battles. But I actually had fun in this tank. They somehow made it interesting. Oh god. Oh god. I'm carrying a tree. It's my tree now. Move, bitch. The amazing destructibility in Battlefield 1 really made that level feel way more awesome because the tank is kind of crushing and knocking things over. You have to be careful about mud because you get stuck in the mud. It's a fun level. Got this little tank over there. Tiny little thing. It's actually kind of cute. Goodbye. The voice acting and the characters in Battlefield 1 are very strong. Good performances, a good range of characters so far. Again, the tone is pretty serious, pretty dark. This is... This is no bad company at all. It's going to be quite a serious game, I think. There was a really interesting section at the end of the tank level. The guys in the tank were trying to send an SOS message and you became the messenger pigeon. And it was really, really weird flying up in the air and then just kind of looking down on all like the chaos and the war. And you just kind of felt like you weren't a part of it anymore. You were just like a spectator. I'm not really sure how I'm going to put a video of this together because I don't really think I've said much or commentated much over these levels. It's hard to think of anything to say when you're kind of swept up in what's happening here. That scene really messed with my head because you're kind of looking down on the war. It's insignificant to this little bird who's just flying around having a good time. The war almost kind of seems like trivial and silly from above. 
it's a weird, weird change of perspective, and I kind of feel like this campaign might try and do stuff with your emotions, try and hit you to your core with some interesting ideas. And then I think the level after that, I was doing some stealthy stuff in some woods. I was sneaking around, hitting people with shovels, and it was like a nice change of pace. This is looking pretty terrible, but I'm going to start hitting people with spades and hit you with a spade. That was not a spade. Okay, just keep going, being very sneaky. Get rid of the gun guy. Stop it. Stop being you. Gently go down and destroy this guy. I agree. I agree. Okay, now I agree. I'm just going to go over here. I'm actually apparently a real life ninja. Hello, mate. You have seen me, but I'm going to swing at you. Yep, yep. It's early days for me in the Battlefield 1 campaign, but it's, it's trying to be quite serious, quite dark. Uh, it's got some very good acting in it. And I am looking forward to it. It's definitely different from any other shooter I've played in quite a while. Okay, now on to the multiplayer. I have played seven hours of the multiplayer now. And it has been, for me, a little bit of a mixed bag. And I think the main reason why I have had some great times in multiplayer and some not so great times and some frustrations is because I'm not very good at Battlefield, it turns out. No, that's my spine. Don't shoot it. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, oh. Good start. I've never played Battlefield on PC, and I've never actually played much of Battlefield. I've never given a Battlefield a really proper go, and I was kind of getting shit on quite a lot. I'm going to try running around with a shotgun, which is already a bad idea because I spawned in in a terrible place. This plan is terrible, this plan is terrible, this plan is terrible. Throw a grenade before I die. Terrible plan. Terrible plan. It's also quite a hard multiplayer game to get a grip on because there's so much shit going on. I'm gonna stab a man, stab a man, stab a man. How do I stab? Stab, 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 stab. Okay, he kind of died. I thought it was a one-hit kill for some reason. What the fuck is that? Oh, I've got a gas mask. I remember jumping into my first game and I was just like, I picked the assault class and I was like, okay, I've got a gun. I've got like an ammo pouch. And then everything's blowing up around me. A horse runs past me. A building blows up. There's gas and it's saying put on a gas mask. And I'm like, I don't, I don't know if I have a gas mask. Do I have a gas mask? And then someone stabs me with a bayonet and I'm just like, I don't fucking know what's happening. Oh, I saw that. I saw that coming towards me. Oh, I've been revived. I would like to move from this area. I didn't even know that you could get new guns and tweak your guns until like four hours into the game because it didn't make it very clear. And my friend just told me if you click on this cog, you can actually get new guns. And I was like, thank God, because I don't like these guns. They recoil all over the place, which I think is the point because it's World War One and the guns weren't amazing. So it, it's hard to shoot people, I find anyway, because I'm rubbish. Oh, wow. This is a bigger clip. The first time I actually killed two people are meant to do it. Yeah! Three in a row without being dead. For me, that's a miracle. Oh, he, he's better than me at games. I'm a bit crap at the game right now. I'm getting better. And it has made me not enjoy it because sometimes losing and sucking sucks in video games. Okay, we have Charlie. Let's uh, deploy in this guy who's in the middle of the biggest firefight of his life. This is like the worst place we could be. Open the shutter. Hello, it's a beautiful day. It wasn't a very good day for me. If you're quite experienced with Battlefield, you're probably going to have an easier first few hours than I did because I'm a bit of a noob and I was getting stamped on a lot. But what I do like about the game is it looks and sounds amazing, especially the destructibility. The destructibility is incredible. You'll be in a building, shooting out of it, and then something will explode, you'll be dead, and the building will basically be gone. Can I get on this thing? Is it useful? Get on it. Oh, um, I can shoot a horse in the face. Uh, uh, whoa! How many people did I just kill with that? The ground actually caves in from like grenades, explosions and bombardments. There was one game where the flag in conquest mode was like at the bottom of this ditch because it had been shelled so much. I've never seen a multiplayer game where the map looks so different from the beginning of the game to the end of the game because it just gets blown up so much. Ooh, nice. I think I killed three people there? I'm not sure what happened. Keep going, keep going. Keep fuck your horse. I'm going to assist. I haven't played all the maps yet, but you do get some uh, cool transformations. You get some weather effects where some fog comes in, sandstorms, rain, that sort of thing. And also the newest thing I have noticed is the losing team. I don't know if this is for every mode. I've only been playing Conquest. But the losing team gets a massive vehicle to come in and help them. On a few maps, it's a giant Zeppelin. There has been a large train, 
and I believe there's like a big old freighter in the ocean for one map as well. These vehicles are really, really awesome. You can blow them up, and when they blow up, they look incredible. I unfortunately don't have any footage of the Zeppelin blowing up, but I've seen it happen twice now, and it's amazing to see this giant, giant balloon-based vehicle thing slowly crash into the map, and then it leaves like a carcass, which you can like interact with and hide behind. It's really, really cool. Kill it with fire! Ow, it hit me and I died. Did it die? It did! <laughs> yeah! I still need more time to get good at Battlefield 1. I'm getting a little bit more used to the shooting. I'm still crapping planes. It says F2. What's F2 do? Oh my god, no. Oh my god, no. Don't do that. Oh. See, it changes C. I got into the back and I died. I'm getting a bit more used to using the tanks. Um, I also like playing the medic class because when I'm doing a bit shit with my gun, which happens quite often, it kind of feels good to go around healing and resurrecting your teammates. It actually feels like I'm helping a little bit. Revive everyone! I like being a medic, it's fun. I actually feel useful. <laughs> I'm still looking for that one gun per class that I really enjoy using because currently I don't like the guns I have per class very much, but I'm going to keep playing because it just looks amazing. I'm going to shoot this at your tank. Oh! Those bullets do hurt tanks. That's what they are. Just killed a tank with a sniper rifle. It was pretty good, man. It's such an interesting and dynamic multiplayer game to play. Also, horses are hilarious. I've got a horse! Give me the horse! Yes! <laughs> yes! Finally! Go, horse! Go! Hooray! Are these horses actually useful? It seems like I'm a giant moving target that people are going to want to shoot a lot. But we'll see. Yeah! Horse is awesome! <laughs> Judge! <laughs> Uh oh, you do die by K bullets. Don't know what that means, but it hurt. I like running around on a horse, getting my sword out and slashing people. It makes me laugh. So that summarizes my opening thoughts on Battlefield 1. I am liking the campaign. It seems quite uh, emotional, quite dark in tone, quite serious, which might not be for everyone, but I am personally looking forward to seeing more of it. The multiplayer, I do like. It looks amazing and it's super impressive from a technical standpoint. I'm crap at it but I'm gonna get better at it. Well, that does it for my first nine hours inside Battlefield 1. Hopefully you guys are enjoying these first impression type videos. My next one will most likely be the Dark Souls 3 DLC or Jetbox Party Pack 3. One of those two, I'm not sure which. We will see. But if you like this video, guys, make sure you like it because if you don't like it when you like it, then I don't know if you like it. And apart from that, thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time.